Just as Jesus died and rose again, so will our brothers and sisters be made alive in Christ and share the joys and blessings. Let us rise and give praise to God with a hymn. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. And so, brothers and sisters, we are here to commemorate all the souls of our faithful departed, for they are in need of our prayers, in need of purification, and all our prayers help them to go closer to God. And for us who are here on earth, we continue to live our life as best as we can according to the will of God. And for the times we have failed to do so, we ask for pardon and sin. And so to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us acknowledge our sins. I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen.
Listen kindly to our prayers, O Lord, and as our faith in your Son raised from the dead is deepened, so may our hope of the resurrection for your departed servants also find new strength. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will prepare for all peoples a banquet of rich food. On this mountain, he will remove the morning veil covering all peoples and the shroud and wrapping all nations. He will destroy death forever. The Lord will wipe away the tears from every cheek. He will take away his people's shame everywhere on earth, for the Lord has said so. That day it will be said, See, this is our God, in whom we hope for salvation. The Lord is the one in whom we hope. We exult and we rejoice that He has saved us. The Word of the Lord.
a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Hope is not deceptive because the love of God has been poured into our hearts by the Holy Spirit which has been given us. We were still helpless when at his appointed moment Christ died for sinful men. It is not easy to die even for a good man. Though of course for someone really worthy, a man might be prepared to die. But what proves that God loves us is that Christ died for us while we were still sinners. Having died to make us righteous, is it likely <coughs> that he would now fail to save us from God's anger? <coughs> when we were reconciled to God by the death of his son, we were still enemies. <coughs> now that we have been reconciled, surely we may count on being saved by the life of his son. Not merely because we have been reconciled, but because we are filled with joyful trust in God. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have already gained our reconciliation. The Word of the Lord. from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus exclaimed, I bless you, Father, Lord of heaven and of earth, for hiding these things from the learned and the clever and relieving them to mere children. Yes, Father, for that is what it pleased you to do. Everything has been entrusted to be by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father, just as no one knows the Father except the Son, and those to whom the Son chooses to reveal Him. Come to me, all you who labor and are overburdened, and I will give you rest. Shoulder my yoke and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Yes. My yoke is easy and my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. So today we come to commemorate all souls. But year after year, um, week after week, but especially 
on the 2nd of November, on All Souls Day, we offer masses for all our dearly departed, for all those whom we have lost in the various stages of our life. But do we ever think of why we do such a thing? I mean, yes, the church practice encourages us to offer masses for souls, that is to help them to speed up the purification process, so to speak. But on our part, what motivates us to offer these masses? Of course, in terms of church teachings, the Catechism of the Catholic Church tells us that the church from the very beginning has uh, believed in the practice of praying for the souls of the dead, especially by offering masses for them so that they can one day gain the inheritance that was promised to God. On our part, however, when someone close to us or someone who is dear to us is still alive, we will always desire what is good for them, what is best for them. You know, we never want to have we never want to have any Ill, Ill harm to happen to them. And so it is the same when someone dies. We also want the best for them. You know, we give them a good funeral, we give them a good send-off, you know, we give a good eulogy where we say good things about them. But at the same time, we also want them to get to heaven where they will be in the presence of God forever. For well, this is what is promised to us by God, that we will one day, all of us will receive eternal life. But because of our, the weakness of our flesh as human beings, we may not live up to what God wants us to be. And so, even in the final stages of our life, our lives may not be purified as what God wanted to be. And so each soul that dies will go through the stage of purification. Of course, in eschatological terms, there will be judgment for every soul that dies. And that's God will determine where each soul goes, either straight to heaven or to purgatory, or for those who did not repent of their evil at death, to hell. But for those who go to purgatory, they are in need of our prayers because our prayers will help shorten their time in purgatory. And time in purgatory is not measured as how we measure time on earth. One second on earth may be an eternity in purgatory. And every single prayer, every single mass that we offer for them shortens even a second or two will be a great help for them. And this is why we pray for them, we offer masses for them, simply because we love them deeply and we desire what is good for them, which is the ultimate union with God. And we do everything we can to speed up the process so that they will come into the presence of God and live in eternal bliss. And when they get there, they too can pray for us who are still here. And especially on this day, we also commend all the souls that may have been forgotten, who have died without anyone to pray for them. Even these we need to pray for, not just those whom we know. And so today, we commend all the souls of the faithful departed, whether we know them or do not. And we pray that the Lord, in His merciful love, will admit them into His heavenly kingdom when their purification is done, and when their soul is purified, spotless clean, to minister in the presence of God, and to in turn pray for us on earth, so that we too, one day, may enter into that eternal inheritance that God has promised to us.
is 10. I believe in one, one God, God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, of all things invisible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born under the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not me, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men of our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in the glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, whom with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins and look forward to resurrection from the, of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us in faith call upon God, the Almighty Father, who rise, raised Christ, his Son, from the dead, as we pray for the salvation of the living and the dead. For our Holy Father, bishops, priests, and religious, may they be shining models of humility, holiness, tireless, and powerful preachers of the Word of God. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, took mercy fully on suffering souls in purgatory and grant pardon upon them. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, we place our churches all over the world in your hands. Keep us strengthened in our faith. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Father, in the name of Jesus, destroy every form of disabilities that they are revenging the life of our young people. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. May the prayers of those who cry to you benefit the souls of your servants, O Lord. Free them, we pray, from all their sins and make them share us in your redemption through Christ our Lord. Please be seated.
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of his holy church. Look favorably on our offerings, O Lord, so that your departed servants may be taken up into glory with your Son, in whom is whose great mystery of love we are all united, who lives and reigns for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Lift up, up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In Him the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned, that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of eternity to come. Indeed, for you, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended, and when this earthly dwelling turned into dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and power of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith We proclaim your death, O Lord And profess your resurrection Until you come again Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Julian, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servants whom we have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who were, who were united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have gone, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. At the Saviour's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that your departed servants, for whom we have celebrated this Paschal Sacrament, may pass over to the dwelling place of light and peace through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessings. May the God of all consolation bless you for his unfailing goodness he created the human race and in the resurrection of his only begotten Son he has given believers the hope of rising again. Amen. Amen. To us who are alive, may God grant pardon for our sins and to all the dead a place of light and peace. Amen. Amen. So may we all live happily forever with Christ, whom we believe truly risen from the dead. Amen. And may the blessings of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives.